What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a double unboxing. Today we are going to be unboxing my Ipsy monthly bag as well as unboxing the new Ipsy Plus. I'm not going to lie, I have already looked inside, given it a peek. I have some opinions and um, yeah, let's go ahead and see if, you know, which one is better if they're alike and let's see if they if the ipsy plus actually stuck with my profile um i'm gonna go ahead and do my monthly ipsy bag first please don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below what you guys think and let's get straight to this unboxing now i did get the email to upgrade and i did upgrade but it doesn't or they I think they commented that they still don't have this feature where you can um, keep your old subscription and also add the plus. Um, so I did have to use another email and purchase another bag and make another profile, which I kept it all the same. I'm going to let you guys know I, I only put strictly makeup. I put that I'm very comfortable with makeup and all this stuff, even though I'm not really wearing any and my nose is looking really red. I have some kind of allergies going on right now. Let, like, let's just let's ignore the fact that I look like, you know like a reindeer <laughs> um okay let's see so this month's bag is very cute it is like it almost looks like it has like a i don't know what you would call this like a little mask eye mask so um the theme this month is who said nights were for sleep apparently now that i'm a student and a mom I don't sleep like ever like these under eye bags is just it's crazy um, I did put strictly makeup no skin care no hair care nada no you not even body care I don't care for that for ipsy you know what I mean um, the first thing I see here is the radiant glow highlighter and Prosecco by IBY beauty okie dokie and um, I hopefully I don't hopefully I don't mess up the packaging. I can never get into any packaging. It sucks. Um, so this is the size of the pan. It is like not like crazy small. It's all right. I'm losing focus. Okay, so this is the color Prosecco. It is very nice. It is very champagne-y. Ooh, and it's very very soft. That is the shade. It is really pretty. I actually like that a lot. Okay, so we have that. Let's go ahead and check out what other thing I got here. Ooh, I'm a sucker for packaging. Look at this. Look at the little spaceship right there. That is super cute. I, I die for packaging. So this is the Space Case Cosmetics. And it's, it's not me, it's my sign. And it's a blush. Okay. So far, I'm not having any struggles with packaging. Yes. Okay, so this is what the blush looks like. It is very cute. It, it has like that ColourPop um, packaging for like their single blushes and shadows. And this is what the blush looks like. This is very pretty and definitely very, very, very neutral. Ooh, and it does have the consistency of a ColourPop um, blush or eyeshadow. And it is very, it's like a very toned down color. Very, very muted. I like it though. And it has like that gel, like that gel hybrid feel. So I truly like that. that this is like another win-win for me. So far, the two items, um, I like it. So next item that we have here is the Aurora. Intensively precise eyeliner and espresso. Finally, not a black eyeliner. They need to change it up and give us more color. Um, so it says it's a duo tip. I don't want to open this because I actually want to put this in a giveaway. You know what? I want to open it. Screw it. I want to keep it. <laughs> Sorry, I will put other things in giveaways. I will, I will. But I just wanted to check it out. So it is a felt tip liner. The swatch was really bad, but it is definitely the color espresso. Um, I am going to put some use into this. I I do always go for the black eyeliner, but, you know, I want to switch it up. I want to get more comfortable with other colors, other colors, 
and you know I do like a brown eyeliner so I I like this not like crazy about it but I do like it okay so next thing ooh next thing here is a buxom lip gloss and it looks to be like a deluxe size this is definitely not a sample at all this is a deluxe size and it is very pretty it's in the color dolly and I am a huge fan of buxom glosses I always like to buy them during the winter or the holiday season because they have like those holiday gift sets and I get them for myself mm, it smells so good and it's like a nice little pink and it has like silver and gold sparkles in it very pretty let's give it another swatch that's the gloss right there like look how nice that is like buxom really brings it when it comes to glosses and they are definitely worth it i'm looking at myself on the camera and i'm just like wow like girl get your nose together um <laughs> so we have one more item in this bag this month and i got the brazilian bum bum cream this is a nice size. This is like more like of a travel or like purse size, pocket size, if you could say. I like this cream. I like the scent. I just, they could have thrown in another cosmetic. They could have thrown in a blending brush. They could have thrown in whatever they wanted. I've been getting this cream like crazy in all of my subscription boxes recently. And I do like the cream. I'm just, I'm just over hand cream. I'm over body lotion for now. I have like drawers just stacked with lotions that I get in subscription boxes. So that's how I feel about that. So that was my Ipsy Glam bag for the month of October. I think this was a really good bag. Like I really liked it. And for it being my first bag with that new email and updating the whole profile thing, they they really did a good job. And if they're going to keep keeping it like this, they're definitely... Um, they're definitely keeping me impressed so far, so I give it a huge thumbs up. And let's go ahead and get straight into the Ipsy Plus. Now, the Ipsy Plus sticks to my profile. I do have oily skin. I want nothing dewy, nothing like kind of like nothing of that sort. So, um, and only makeup. So we're gonna keep that in mind. Now it says, "Welcome to the Glam Bag Plus." Definitely with this camera and this lighting, we probably won't be able to catch a good glimpse of that. Um, already looking in here, I'm already happy, but I'm kind of shocked. Uh, so the first thing we have here is the Morphe High, High Impact Highlighter in the color Extra. Now, I'm really happy that we're getting Morphe. I, I saw that people were getting, like, I guess it was like a PR thing where people were getting the Morphe palette and I thought we were going to get it and when I found out that we weren't, I was kind of like, eh, like why promote something you're not going to throw it in there, throw in the bag, you know what I mean? Um, I like the packaging. It is very sleek, very like, you know, like, ooh, you know, it's not out there. Ooh, and I like the color. I really like the color. Oh, there, here, there's my camera. I like the color. I like how it has a big mirror. And let's give it a swatch. Ooh. Okay, this is definitely, definitely a nice highlighter as well. As you guys can see, this one is more like of a glittery one, and this one's more like of a metallic. But it is nice. I do like this. I swatched it already, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> and I like it so so far that that that's good. That's good. I, I'm always happy with the highlighter. Um, next item here is one that I'm just kind of like, huh, okay. Uh, so I got the Ciate London, 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 <laughs> Dewy Spritz Luminous Prime and Set Spray. Now, I am very oily. I do have extremely oily skin, so I don't know how this is going to work for me. Nonetheless, I am still going to use it. Because now that the winter is coming, I do I do still stick to my matte foundations, but I do like to go for a dewy setting mist and a dewy um, primer to kind of balance out the matte foundation and not like suck the life out of my skin. Now, ooh, this kind of reminds me of like the Smashbox one. And if you guys can see, all of the glitters have like settled down to the bottom of the of the container. But this is what it looks like you guys can definitely see it's just all sparkles I will give it a nice shake 
It does say shake to activate. And I did pause the video because the ice cream man is in, a, is in my neighborhood right now. Like, really, though? If you guys can hear him, ignore him. Like, why? Why is he here now? Um, let's see. Okay, the spritzer's not bad. And if I rub it into my skin... Like, it's not, that's not like crazy shimmery. Like, I can hardly see any, but it is very moisturizing. It does feel very, very fresh, and it does feel very soft. So, I like that. And it smells, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't have like a, a nice fragrance either. It smells like a basic setting spray. I'm not mad about it. Next item that I have here is the Pure Lease Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant. Gently resurfaces, detox, detoxifies, brightens, and tightens, smooths 10-minute facial for all skin types and sensitive. So that is a bonus. Um, so I'm happy they threw in some kind of skincare, even though I want all makeup and I sound like I'm contradicting myself. I mean, I've never tried this brand before, but it does look very nice. And I'm, I am into mud masks and all that, so I am happy about that. I will give this a go, and I'm happy that this isn't just like a cleanser or something. I like that this is like a mask, because I am a big fan of masks, whether they're sheet masks and um, liquid masks. So, next item here is the Smashbox Cover Shot Bold Glitter Eye Palette. And now we're going to, oh wait, no. I thought we were going to struggle to get into this palette, but apparently we're not. So it is very cute. Look at that. Super nice, and I do really like how Ipsy Plus is throwing in a lot of like name brand items. Hopefully, they do throw in some indies, some indie brands soon. But I like how you know they're they're trying to come in with a bang. Um, ooh, I almost destroyed this palette, but look how look at those colors. I am definitely going to get uh, my hands into this palette. I'm going to swatch two shades today. I don't like to go in like all the shades. I do want to do the gold and the green. So let's go ahead and do the gold. Ooh. Ooh, okay. And let's go into this green. This green did not swatch as well as that gold. But these are the two shades. Um, my awkward hand. There we go. So those are the swatches of the two sh the two glitter shades. This gold performed way better than this green. Um, I guess you just have to work with them. Uh, maybe with a good, uh, maybe like a MAC paint pot. That will probably help this uh, stand out more. Stand out more. Um, I cannot talk today. And I'm cleaning my hands on my blankets. Because I wash them and they're mine. And uh, I'm just getting like this mom attitude right now. It's coming out of me, this alter ego Get it together, Natalie. And the ice cream man is still in my neighborhood, and I'm just, oh, I'm done with him. It's it's winter time, like, ugh, why? Okay, let's ooh, get it together. Um, next here, I have the Ico London uh, Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in the color black. I know I said that I was done receiving black eyeliners, but I do enjoy this brand, and I have had a mini scent in my Ipsy bag, and this is a really good eyeliner. So even though this is a basic color that I will have in my collection, I will store this, and I will keep this, and I will love this. And I'm happy they threw this in the bag box. Um, next item here is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara, and I've heard a lot of good things about this mascara. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys the packaging, but I don't want to open it because I already have tons of them and I don't want to open this and have it dry out on me soon. But Tarte mascaras are really good and I've had a couple and this is really nice. So I'm happy they threw in a Tarte mascara. Last but not least, they threw in this uh, bag that we're only been going to be getting quarterly, I think. Um... It feels really nice. It is a little on the small side, but the texture of it and the material feel, feels, feels very nice. Um, I like this bag. It's cute, and I know that I'm pretty sure all of these items probably out of their packaging will fit into this, 
but you know I'm not mad about it I'll probably pass this on to a family or a friend or I will throw this into my upcoming giveaway if you guys subscribe to my channel and help me reach a thousand subscribers you guys will be entered in the giveaway so help your girl out I know I sound needy but sometimes I have to let you guys know that you guys need to help me <laughs> Well, you guys, um, in my personal opinion, I did enjoy the Glam Bag Plus. If you guys have received the email to upgrade, I recommend you guys should test it out. Test out the water, see how it goes. I did enjoy everything I got. The only thing that had me like on the edge was this Dewy Spritz Setting Spray. I hope that they do throw in a matte one later on in the future. But I will be getting some use into it and I will mix it in with any matte products that I will be working with on my face. And I do enjoy everything everything that they sent and I hope that the next month they bring it and they keep these bags good um which bag did I feel won it for me this month as crazy as it's gonna sound I want to give it to my ipsy my ipsy where is it I probably lost oh I want to give it to my ipsy bag because I feel like they stuck more to my profile even though they threw in the bum bum cream which I don't care for um I, I liked it and I did like my glam bag plus but I did like my regular one a little bit more this month I did like both though I could call this a tie but I'm gonna go with this one with that being said please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and I will catch you guys in the next video bye